Hey guys, it's Jared Morris here with Marketing Mavens, here to show you how to manually split tests inside Infusionsoft. So I've got a list of test contacts here, uh, just some dummy contacts and a sandbox application. Um, and there are just 10 of them. I could equally do this with 100, 1,000, 10,000, or 100,000. It really doesn't matter the actual list size, uh, but I just did a quick import here and I've got my test contacts. So what you'd want to do is you would want to come up to contacts, view contacts, and then edit the criteria so that you can uh, basically distinguish and, and uh, slice and dice and get down to the list of people that you want to actually run a split test of some sort on. Once you have that list of people like I have here, then what you'll do is go ahead and come over to actions and we'll click export. Now, you have a lot of options as far as what's going to be exported. When you're running an update inside Infusionsoft, um, the, uh, all it really needs is the Infusionsoft contact ID. So literally, I don't care about anything else except for that. I'll just keep it simple. And we'll come down to the bottom. CSV, view and browser is great. I'll go ahead and click process. And it says it'll take several minutes. My hunch is it might be almost immediate because it's so small perfect um, so I'll go ahead and open that up okay so now we have that downloaded you can see it's got my Infusionsoft contact IDs on the left and um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a second column here called tags and I'm gonna put in a here go down to the next one type in B once you have a couple and uh, you can just basically select both cells get down here where you've got that little cross and drag it down that'll essentially repeat the pattern so in this example I'm actually splitting it up into just an AB test if you want to do an ABC test or ABCD or however many split tests uh, and subsets of your original tag you want to create feel welcome to um, but right now we're just gonna stick with that I'm gonna go ahead and click file save as and we'll call it test update dot CSV save that on our desktop perfect say yes here and uh, then we'll flash back over to Infusionsoft so what we'll do is we'll come up to this main menu hover over it and we'll go over to data cleanup and we are going to select modify existing records this is uh, how you can update existing people who are already in Infusionsoft and do something like we're doing here, splitting it up into subset groups. So we'll go to Browse, we'll do Test Update, the file we just did, and we'll hit Next. And you see that it found that ID is Infusionsoft's contact ID. It doesn't always do this, um, but hopefully it will for you. If not, uh, you'll just need to choose from the list. If it says, you know, pick an Infusionsoft field, you just need to come down to the bottom here and where it says keys, we want to make sure we have Infusionsoft's contact ID. And then tags, um, you can either map this to a field, but even quicker, and this way you don't have to create a custom field, is to select um, create tags from your field value. So there's, there's literally going to create a tag A and a tag B under the import category uh, for tagging. And, um, and so there's no additional options here as far as mapping goes and since it's creating those tags we don't even need to run an action set to tag so you can see we can go through odd should be a uh, even should be B and we can see that that is the case as we go through our list and again with 10 people I could have manually done this right but with 10,000 this is a uh, a quicker way to do a split test let the updating begin. All right, view the list of contacts you just updated. I'm going to check out two of them, and I'll just open up in a new tab. So one should have tag A imported on its record. And sure enough, tag A imported category. And so we'll close this guy, and we'll make sure that the next one. Awesome. Low battery. Got to love it love my magic mouse alright so we've got uh, B imported cool so we've basically taken a tag or you know doesn't have to be a tag any audience that you've uh, 
that you've whittled down to with any criteria that you can with Infusionsoft. We've taken that audience and we've split them up into two tags. Like I said before, this could be three tags, four tags, five tags, however many you'd like. That's just controlled in your import file. Um, from here, what's awesome is I can go back and I can say, um, I can actually go to contacts and I'm going to edit the criteria. And if I do a search for that imported category, tag A or B really, but I should get five people back. And sure enough, I do. Now that I have them, then what do I want to do? I can send a broadcast. I can drop them in a sequence. I can uh, do any list, well, basically anything you see here. And I've got you know something I can do for group A and then I can do something maybe similar but with some slight variation for group B um, so that's how you do a very that's how you do a manual split test in Infusionsoft as you can see it didn't take me very long it's not too laborious by any means um, but if you're doing a lot of split testing it can can actually become a little bit more time consuming just depending on what you're trying to do also you don't always have the the ability or it's not the best um, user experience uh, for your prospects and customers on your list to be split test at some random time that you decide. A lot of times the best time to split test them is right when they took action and to either roll them into sequence A or sequence B immediately or maybe they just bought something and um, you want to split test the one click upsell offer at two different price points or even two different totally different products and see which upsell you know ends up having a higher take rate so um, you know for things like that that is why we have built Maven Split Tester alright so now we're logged into uh, the Maven's membership portal where our clients can access all the Infusionsoft plugins that we've built um, this account does not yet have the split tester, but um, you can see that there's actually, outside of what we just did, it's actually a software process. So you can basically just say, hey, find this tag, um, split it up into this, you know, tag A and tag B, and hit go, and it will do the work for you. No exporting, importing, or anything like that. Now, I will say um, the reason why this was delayed being released is. We are trying to get it uh, to be faster, um, but at the end of the day, Infusionsoft does not allow you to batch update contact records with a tag. So you can't say, hey, these 10,000 people, apply this tag and do it in a single call. Um, rather, that is 10,000 API calls, and Infusionsoft um, really wants us to throttle it at essentially a call every half second. So if you've got a fairly small list, um, it's going to work great for you. It's still going to work great for you uh, if you're trying to split up and essentially just apply tags. If With a bigger list, you just have to give it some time so you can queue it up and know that it'll be done sometime later. Um, but it's just that, that throttling of API calls to divvy it up that actually takes so long. Now what's really cool is what doesn't take long and what is probably even more powerful like I said before is that you will have unique URLs that you can send HTTP post to um, did I say three T's? HTTP post to um, anyways that you can send post to and and you can essentially when someone opts in route one person to sequence A and another person to sequence B or A, B, and C um, and you can check and see which sequences are performing best. Now on um, one click upsells what's great is you can do this similar thing and actually say hey here's my my thank you page A and my thank you page B and I want to see which upsells you know which page which upsell outperforms the other um, and you'll again have a thank you page URL that you'll be able to input into an order form or, or whatnot and um, take it from there. So that is uh, that is a quick little teaser, if you will, on Maven Split Tester. Today I'm not going to get into showing you the tool, but I just wanted to uh, give value to those who are needing to do split testing and are willing to do it manually. That's awesome. Uh, for those who want to automate the process and streamline everything, we do have a tool for it. Now, uh, the final thing that I'll say is the most important thing about split testing other than doing it is having an accurate way of measuring it and so um, while I have seen some people based on tags and then pull reports on tags that's you know one way of doing it 
Another way of doing it is actually incorporating our Maven Analytics tool. So with Maven Analytics, you'll actually be able to take a look and you'll be able to see, okay, let's compare the A-B follow-up sequences side by side and graphically you'll see step for step, if it's a 10 step sequence, um, step for step, which step outperforms, which has higher open rates, click through rates, which one, uh, which steps on the A sequence versus the B sequence actually create negative activity like opt-outs and spam complaints. So again, uh, split testing is great. Being able to understand what's happening in the split test is even better because then you can take meaningful action and uh, take the winner and make that your core sequence. Uh, and the same is true with like the sales report. Being able to, on either a short range or long range revenue basis, look at two products side by side, your upsell products or three products and literally be able to see in a graphical representation, you don't have to sit and crunch numbers and try and figure out the winner, just being able to see, hey, this bar chart is, this bar is way higher than the other one. This is the upsell that people love and take and run with and, and seems to resonate with them. And so from there, you'll be able to take that data. Again, today isn't about the split tester plugin or the analytics plugin. Um, I really just want to provide some value and give something away for free for people who are who are wanting to split test, wondering if it's even possible with Infusionsoft. And the answer is yes, it is in a manual fashion, um, kind of on the spot, ad hoc when you're ready to do it um, via exporting and importing, and it, it works great. So uh, feel free to use those things. And like I said, keep an eye out for the Maven split tester, which will be released very soon. And uh, like I said, it works hand in hand with our current analytics plugin uh, to really give you some insightful, actionable data within Infusionsoft. Signing off again, this is Jared with Marketing Mavens. Thanks for stopping by, guys.